Okay, this is a tutorial related to portrait mode videos. I have a, such a video here. As you can see, it was made uh, with a smartphone and it's not landscape, it's not uh, horizontal, but it's portrait, that is, the video itself, it's on vertical. If you upload such a video onto YouTube, it won't look too well. So let's drag it onto the timeline of Sony Vegas. I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 13. Okay, and let's start with this one. Let's go to the properties of the video. Press Alt plus Enter. Alt Enter on the keyboard. And here we can see that the width of the video, this one, is a smaller value than the height of the video. So we could either simply switch the two values or I will type in a standard value of 1920 that's the width and 1080 that's the height now the width of the video will be larger okay now we have this black ugly looking thing but the entire video itself it's a landscape video it's on horizontal Okay, now to fill in these black th uh, parts there, let's go here onto the left side of the video track. So the first one is the video track and the lower one. The second one is the audio track and we will duplicate the video track. So right click on that left area and duplicate track. Now we just created another identical video track. We have two of them. Okay, and let's stretch the lower one onto the entire area of the video. So on the lower video track, let's go to Event Pan Crop, this button here at the end, Event Pan Crop, and at Sources, or Source, Maintain Aspect Ratio, let's set it to No. So we just disabled maintain aspect ratio and from this portion it was stretched to the entire video. Okay, but now it's a whole mess so we should blur the video that is behind. By the way, the video that is behind is the lower one and which is on top is on top on the track also. So this one is on top because you can't see what's behind. And does the track also displace it on the top? So I want to blur the one on the back. That is the second one. So let's go to video FX here and search for, let's say, Gaussian blur. And let's try a medium blur and drop it onto the lower video track and you can adjust it from here if you want another value let's copy that one and you can adjust it okay let's paste it back okay so we blurred the lower video track and to see the one that is in the front we should add a shadow for example so to add a shadow for the front track Let's go to the one on the top, right click, not right click, go to this one, track motion, this button with the black arrow on it. And here we have 2D shadow and 2D glow. Okay, check the 2D shadow and notice that the shadow just appeared. And if you make a modification here by moving it to another location, it created another keyframe. So let's delete the first keyframe because otherwise there will be a transition between the two. Right click on the first keyframe on the shadow track and click delete. Okay, now we have only this keyframe. And by moving this one, the shadow, notice that only this X and Y is moving. So let's center it by typing in 0 to X and Y. 0, 0, press enter. And now the shadow is equal on both sides and here at blur you can adjust the size of it if you want something like that is okay 
and voila now it looks better so the same video is displayed behind but is stretched and is blurred plus a shadow is added to the side of the first video okay so now the video is not in a vertical that is a portrait mode but it's in a full screen in a horizontal mode which is a landscape mode okay that's it thanks for watching and bye bye